I developed a course orientation uh, tab and it has all information that they need, very important information that they need uh, to succeed in this course. Um, the most important thing that I have uh, uh, developed is I develop modules. So under these new modules, uh, I created weekly modules and it has a date, at the beginning date and the end date. And within each module, it has a uh, module overview telling the students what the course, the, the, uh, the module they're gonna be working on is all about, what's expected on them. They have the uh, module learning objectives uh, and it has a task, what they need to complete for the week uh, for that specific module. Uh, each module also has uh, the notes. So when students uh, take notes, whenever they're looking through the, uh, the videos, uh, they can jot notes for them so that they can use that for quizzes and, and exams. I also included videos. Uh, that's how students will be uh, learning. They will be looking at videos. I attach videos per, per each section. And I also included PowerPoints in case they prefer to have a summary of each uh, section. And so they're, they are supposed to be looking at these videos and taking notes uh, during all uh, lectures. On the next page, uh, I have included uh, the homework. It tells them a description of what the homework is going to be about. Uh, it also has a link so that uh, when we use the homeworks, we use Pearson. Uh, the homeworks are linked here so that way a student can go in and start with their homework. That also includes quizzes. Uh, we also, we have, a, for, you know, for all the homeworks, usually we have several homeworks that they have to do per week. Uh, I also have a page where they have a discussion. Here's where the students get to interact with one another. Uh, I prompt them to answer a question um, and students uh, get to uh, have feedback from uh, each other. Uh, they can comment uh, whether they like the idea or, or add extra uh, ideas. So that's how students get to interact in, in, in this course. And of course, they, when they reply, they can they read the, the topic. Uh, it has a rubric on there so that they will know what, what they need to do in order to uh, answer the, the topic question and the points. And as I mentioned before, a quiz. You noticed I did include on, on the tabs when they looked at homework uh, and the tasks, uh, they do have the due dates. So that way students will know when uh, homeworks, quizzes are due and discussions. Uh, they are located in the module under um, overview. So every, every uh, weekly, uh, module overview has their uh, due dates, so that way students can't uh, uh, forget when they're when they're due. So that that occurs in all my modules, uh, and I was also taught that uh, I can I can have students uh, I can make sure that the students go through each each uh, page first before they go to the next one, so it's locked, so they can't go from one. Uh, page to the next, so they have to finish one link to go to proceed to the next link. Uh, so that's the the main the main uh, part of the overview of my main uh, changes that I needed to do. Uh, some key ideas uh, that I learned is now that I upgraded the, the course, it's more accessible. Uh, the due dates are more readily available for the students, so that way it's more organized, so that they know when when each of them is is uh, the due dates for the homework and the and the quizzes and the exams. Uh, resources, uh, I included resources for the students. Uh, uh, links so that way they know how to use a calculator. They want to use a calculator. They want to use StatDisc. Um, I included that on there uh, for them. And, and encourages critical thinking with the, with the discussions in this course. Uh, benefits, redesigning of the modules really, really helped a lot. Uh, making module objectives uh, encourages students to 
understand why they're taking exams, why they're taking quizzes. And these module objectives made a difference. Uh, so that way, when they're doing a module, they understand what they're going to be studying for and how they're going to be uh, uh, tested. Uh, so that's, that's, and they're measurable. All my modular objectives are all measurable. So that way they know what they're going to be tested on. Uh, the, the overall uh, Canvas course that uh, I redesigned uh, is more organized. It's set up to make it more student friendly. And that's the main goal of this uh, upgrade is to, to help our students to become successful and making it more friendly. So I wanna thank um, Dr. Aaron Berger for, for helping me. I really appreciate it and I really learned a lot and I will continue to use these skills from here on out. Thank you.